Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you why your YouTube payments are currently on hold in your Google AdSense account and how you can solve this problem. So as you can see, today I received a notice from Google AdSense that let me highlight for you to see or let me zoom for that matter. I received a notice that your payments are currently on hold because you have not verified your address. You know, when I received this news, I was so happy. Why? Because all this while, each time I, you know, this I'm used to this particular message, this one that is here, that, okay, uh, AdSense no longer displays your YouTube metrics to see your estimated earnings and other monetization metrics, use the YouTube analytics report, I mean, revenue report. I'm used to this because as soon as I got monetized, initially, I understand that for you to see your estimated earnings and other YouTube monetization metrics, you have to click on reports over here to see it. But right now it's no more the case. So for you to see your estimated earnings and other YouTube metrics, you have to come to YouTube and then go to analytics. So let me go to analytics, go to come to YouTube, come to your channel click on custom channel and then when you click on custom channel you, you come and click on analytics then when you click on analytics you click on revenue you know you click on revenue over here and then you have your estimated earnings you have your rpm and other what youtube monetization metrics are displayed in your YouTube analytics and no more in your what your AdSense revenue reports. So I understood that because right now, if you if I should click on report, I cannot access my YouTube earnings like RPM, all those things no longer display. This is what this message is telling us. So this is what has always displayed on my channel. But the sad thing is that. If we should click on more, let's click on more over here to know more about this message. Let's click on more. And then they will tell us that they will tell us the reason why they are doing this. They are actually saying that they are doing this in order to improve the speed, the speed and what usability of new AdSense reporting pages or page or whatever. I don't know to improve upon this particular speed. This is why they have made this, these changes. This is what they are saying or whatever. And uh, I wouldn't re read all these stories, but what is more important is that they, have te they are telling us that despite the fact that YouTube no longer displays your, uh, your earnings, your estimated earnings and other YouTube metrics like the RPM, the CPM, despite that, they are telling you that you should note that this message does not apply to billing and payments data. You can still find all of your billing and payments data in the payments section of your AdSense account. So I this this what I this do this is so so much important. So what that means is that when I come out come to my Google AdSense account. Although I cannot view my RPM, my CPM, or even my whatever, if I click on report, I cannot view my estimated earnings here. As I showed you, I had to go to my YouTube analytics to view these earnings here. But from this particular message, I've learned that, however, that I can view my payments data. So what that means is that if I'm in my Google AdSense account and I click on payments, I should be able to see my payment. You understand? But after I got monetized, my channel has always been zero. Payments has always been zero. Meanwhile, before I actually reached uh, 10, uh, what do we call it? $10. I was making something not up to $10, but probably $5, $6 before I go to $10. So all this while, I expected to have seen a change in my ad, uh, what, do I, what do I, should I call it? My YouTube payments report, or sorry, my YouTube payments, yeah, report in AdSense. I, I expected to have seen maybe 
0.001% at least because I knew if I earned 5%, that was some money. So I thought like YouTube would pay 5%. Oh, okay. Then I, I had a second thought too. I said, okay, probably YouTube is wouldn't pay me $5. It might have to wait till I end, till I reach a particular threshold for it to pay me. And that's why, you know, uh, my payments was not always displayed here. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll wait and see. So I waited till uh, I reached $10. Estimated earnings became $10. And that was like yesterday. So today I had like 0.74. So it was like 10.7. So yesterday on the 28th of September 2020, I reached what $10. My estimated earnings became $10. So to my surprise today, when I logged into my AdSense account, and I, like I told you, this never used to display. But today, when I reached $10, I logged into my AdSense account and saw this additional message telling me why my payments are currently on hold. Why like I've made some coins or some dollars, yet it's telling me that my payments report, although YouTube has paid me some money, like. So it's like the threshold for YouTube to pay you as a, as a beginner, when you get monetized is when you reach $10. Let's, let me clear something here. You realize that we have the cash out. This is my own term. We have the cash out threshold. This can actually be set to whatever that you want. The minimum is 70 euros and 70 euros is like 80 US dollars, but I set mine to 110 euros. So this is actually the minimum cash out threshold. But what, uh, what should I say? But YouTube does not wait for you to reach this particular threshold before it pays you. It pays you gradually, bit by bit. So what that means is that when I reach every, I just, I'm just assuming when I reach every $10, then YouTube is going to pay me that $10. So let's assume after getting $10, it was supposed to display $10 here. And then the next ten dollars, it will become what twenty dollars in that order till I reach the cash out threshold. But as a beginner, until you reach ten dollars, everything will always be zero zero zero. That's what that means. Even when you reach ten uh, ten dollars, like today, I reached ten dollars. Now they will tell you that for you to be eligible, uh, in other words, for your payments to be displayed in your AdSense account, your payment data to be displayed, you have to verify your what your mailing address the mailing address is what we usually provide in google adsense so you have to verify that particular mailing address and i was like okay cool so i decided to click on more on this particular message so that i would verify my what payment address and for my money to in other words for my payments to be displayed here so i decided to click on more when i clicked on more let's see what displayed I wouldn't read all these stories, but what's more important is that they are saying that when your earnings reach the verification threshold, and like I told you, YouTube AdSense has actually done a very good job. They have made a video to explain everything. So when you get to this particular page, you can watch the video here for more details. But they are saying that when you reach the threshold, and the threshold, like I said, is 10 US dollars. So if you are not I mean, if you are in China, if you are in Mexico, if you are in Af any African country or whatever, I'm just assuming that like you don't spend dollars. So you should be able to convert $10 to your currency to know how much you have to earn before your payment data, before you can be eligible to uh, verify your payment address so that your payment data can be displayed in your Google AdSense account. So, but like I said, it's 10 US dollars. So they're saying that when you, when your earnings reach 10 US dollars or the threshold, the verification threshold, we mail a personal identification number or also known as the mail pin, you know, or what we call the verification pin to your ad payment address. It usually takes two to four weeks to arrive, but it takes much longer depending on your location. And they are saying that if we have asked you to verify your identity 
we won't send sorry if we have asked you to verify your identity we won't send your pin until you have successfully what completed your identity verification okay so we will get to know in my case i will show you that i don't have such problems my my pin has been sent i will show you that notice they, they told me that my pin was sent yesterday 28th of uh, september 2020 and then they are saying that when you receive your pin you enter it in your adsense to verify your address and whatever in case you fail to enter the pin after four months is this very very important in case you, uh, what should i say you will have four months from the date your pin is generated to enter it into your adsense account in order to verify your payment address if you haven't entered it after four months we will stop showing ads on your pages so this is very very important what that means is on your youtube channel after four months if after the, the uh, you know my pin was generated yesterday i will show you that notice that it was generated yesterday and it will arrive in two to four weeks time so right from the, yesterday that the pin got generated and i received this particular report if in four months time i don't i don't enter the pin details or the, the six digit pin to verify my payments address then they'll stop uh, displaying ads on my channel this is what that means but you also have something a, a good, some good news in case you don't receive your your pin you still have a chance so what that means is that uh, from right from yesterday that a pin was generated if in four weeks time having you received my pen or two to four weeks time having you received my pen then i have the possibility of what applying reapplying for another pen i have a, min, a, a maximum of three times to do that you know so they are saying that your pen is a six digit number that we generate when your account reaches the verification threshold your pin is not the same as your publisher id please only enter the correct pin number in the pin verification card if if you enter the pin incorrectly three times your account your account will stop showing ads so this is what they are telling us so this is very very important we should be careful when you receive the pin but i also let you understand that in in case like you are not able to receive the pin maybe by because of the fact due to mailing problems or whatever you have the possibility of reapplying for another pin but you have to so but you have to make sure you do that before four months after the the, the, the pin was generated so it means if i wait for two to four weeks time and have you having yet received the pin i can start reapplying for another pin and I have a maximum of, I don't know whether it's three times or something to do that. If I should wait after four months time, then it means they'll stop displaying ads on my channel. So with that being said, let's, let me now come over here and show you something. So when I come to my Google AdSense account, let me go to home. So right now I've explained why these ads are not displayed here. Hey, sorry, I'm saying ads. My payment data is not displayed here. They are saying it's simply because I haven't yet verified my account, my, 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 my payment address that I kept here, kept in my Google AdSense account. And now for you to be eligible for the verification, you have to reach the verification threshold, which is what your estimated earnings have to reach a minimum of what 10 US dollars before you'll be eligible to verify your payment address so that you can view your payment data here so that every time you uh, i mean uh, youtube pays you ten dollars so you, you can see your payments gradually 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 till it reaches what the, the payment threshold the maximum payment threshold which is or the cash out threshold which is what in my case you can increase it if you want to increase it it's very simple you simply have to click on payments then you go down and click on payment settings right under i will not do that 
I don't have to increase it. If I should scroll down, I don't want to show you other details of my my AdSense account. So I wouldn't do that. But if you, if I should scroll down, you see payment uh, manage payment settings. So when you click on manage right below, you no, know, when you click on manage payment settings, I would then you can increase the threshold if you want. But the gradual payments that YouTube does for it to be displayed here. That is to say, for instance, I was supposed to have this report that let's say, for instance, YouTube has paid me something. So that would this what is paid here would actually be my sorry. What is paid here would is actually my actual earnings. You understand? So every time that YouTube pays, this is what at the end of the day they will pay me. When you reach, for instance, 110 euros, they will pay me. So what that means is that whatever that I see here would be my actual earnings and that's ten dollars so what that means is that uh, my estimated earnings here is ten dollars according to my youtube analytics and what that means is that my actual income in other words what youtube has actually paid me is also either ten dollars or above because the minimum threshold is ten dollars for you to be eligible for verification of your payment address you see so this helps you to see how much you actually earn because the estimated earnings is not actually the, the it's not the actual earnings or the actual payments and that's why you have to make sure you verify your address so that this will, will be displayed here and so that at the end of the day when you reach ten dollars you can add your payment method here and then youtube will pay you whether western union or whatever in order not to talk too much, I already talked a lot. So what I'll now do is that I'll go to my YouTube homepage and show you, uh, what should I say? Let me click on home. I said home, my AdSense home, not YouTube. Okay. So when you come to AdSense home, this is what you see here. You see that your, your payments are currently on hold because you have not yet verified your channel. And before you can see this message, like I said, you have to reach what $10. That's you say you have to reach your payment address verification threshold, which is $10 earnings on your what your YouTube analytics. So as soon as you see that your estimated earnings here is $10, then you should start to expect what to receive this notice that you can now verify your whatever your payment address and they have sent me the pen actually so if i just scroll down over here you see they are saying to do voila to verify yes spoke french i said voila to verify your payment address they are saying that okay we mailed you a pen on the 28th of september 2020 in other words september 28th 2020 it should take two to four weeks to arrive and like i told you it's yesterday so if the pen was sent yesterday, it means it will take two to four weeks to arrive. And then right now, let's assume I click on. So what I, and to be honest with you, since I want to make a complete video, what I will do is that I'll, I'll stop recording the video right after showing you certain things. And then I'll wait till, you know, in two to four weeks time, as soon as I receive my pen, then I'll now come and enter the code and show you. <laughs> That's a little bit funny. That's not to tell you that you should stop watching. I'll actually put a code, but I'm just trying to be realistic. I'm trying to tell you everything that is going on. So let's assume I've actually received, as I'm speaking, in my case, like, let me, let me not speak as if I've received the code, actually. So I've waited for two to four weeks time and I received my code and I'm going to enter it. So let me show you how I enter the code. So I simply have to click on verify. Then when I click on verify, the, the, the code will be sent to my mailing address. So you check your postal box and then you pick your, 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 the letter. And then you pick the, you come and enter the six digits, what we call it, pin. So they are telling me that I have three attempts. If I should make a mistake, I have three attempts, you know, so this I have to be very, very careful with that. You understand so i have to enter the right pin to verify my mailing address now as soon as i finish entering the pin then i'll have to click on what submit so i'll enter it 
later on. But let's assume I haven't yet received the pen. Sorry for the interruption. Let's assume that I haven't received at all the pen, probably due to mailing problems, I haven't received the pen. Like I was saying, you have the possibility of reapplying. But for you to reapply for the pen, you will have to wait. So you have to wait for how many, uh, how long? You have to wait for three weeks. So they are telling me that the pen was sent, actually sent yesterday on the 28th. And for me to be able to reapply, so uh, that's like, they, they say, let's be careful here. They are telling us that the pen takes three to two to four weeks to arrive. So what that means is that, you know, and if the pen was sent to me on the 28th, what that means is that it will arrive, it has, it will, it will, it will by 29th, or sorry, by 18th of October, that's almost like four weeks, the pen would have arrived for me to enter it because as soon as it, right from 28th, have a, a maximum of uh, four months to spare after four months after the uh, after 28th what that means is that ads will no longer be displayed on my channel so i have to be careful as soon as i receive the pen then i enter it however i have the possibility within this four weeks uh, two to four weeks period that is before uh, or after 29th if I haven't yet received the pen, I can what come and uh, reapply for a new pen. So I can just click on resend for them to send me the new pen. So after waiting for almost four days, I finally received my pen. Like I said, you know, my pen was generated on the 28th. And as you can see from the message that I received from AdSense, they said the pen was going to be sent to me on the 28th. So, but I actually received my pen on the, on the 2nd of October, 2020. So that's just almost like four days. So the pen arrived in four days instead of two to four weeks. But like they said, it depends on your location and then the postal conditions in your country or your location. So I live in France and I don't know whether, you know, the thing was posted from the United States or wherever, but it arrived very early or earlier than the, the, the time that I was given or the date that I was given. So it arrived on the, you know, it just took four days to arrive. So right now I'm going to enter my pen and then, you know, um, show show you how the verification process is done so for the sake of security reasons i will hide i mean the entry process so like i said to enter your pin you simply have to click on verify and then you put the pin the pin is a six digit number but for security reasons i will try to to hide it not that I don't trust you, but I just want to hide it. All right. So after I entered the six digit pin and hit on enter or submit, this is what I've seen that your billing address has been verified. So that, what that means is that my mailing address, in other words, my AdSense payment address has been verified. And what that means is that my actual youtube payments will now start to reflect in my google adsense account and this marks the end of the i mean the billing address or the adsense payments account uh, or payment address or if you want the mailing address verification process please remember to subscribe and see you in the next video bye